I'll be remembered, probably you Till McDonald's the baddest that I would turn to CEO with the shit that's a dumb motherfucker You always win, there's no going on at the top of the crown resting on his head The beast is alive, he'll never be dead If he tried before, bring it back to life Push harder for it, let us survive Show courage and strength, it's okay to be scared But don't let it stop, you always stay prepared Bill show in school, they're just not beginning Winners fucking win, losers talk about winning Welcome to the Bearded Beast Show My name is Bill and I am the Bearded Beast. Today's episode is for the doctors, the nurses, the teachers, the retail workers, the frontline personnel, EMTs, firefighters, police officers. They're out there risking their life every day, but now they have to battle this invisible enemy. Let's say a little prayer for all of them to keep them safe. Father, I come to you today bowing in my heart, asking for protection from the evil one. Lord, we are assailed moment by moment with images on television. The internet books, and newspapers that leave us vulnerable to sin of every kind. Surround us with your divine hedge of protection. Encompass us. Round about with your strength and your might. Let all who take refuge in you be glad. Let them ever sing your joy. And may you shelter us that those who love your name may exalt in you. For it is you who blesses the righteous man and woman. O Lord, you surround him favor as with a shield. Please help keep all of our frontline people safe, everyone safe. We are battling something here that we've never battled before. And I want to talk to you about something I heard when I was talking with a friend of mine. I understand when I speak with the nurses, the doctors, the police officers, the firefighters, the EMTs, they say to me, you know, I'm just doing the job I signed up for. And God bless you for it. I get it. But you know what they didn't sign up for? They didn't sign up for you to continue to fucking party and go out and go on like life is just nothing's happening. They didn't sign up for you to fight the social distancing that we're trying to do right now. People are saying, well, Bill, you know, I had I I commented on something today on my Facebook page or it might have been last night. And I'm getting these comments. I said, stay the fuck home. I'm getting these comments by some ignorant fuckers. And you know what? If you comment something like that on my Facebook page, you're gone. In times like this, your true character shows. So, you know, here's, here's what I get. Here's, here's what I get today. Uh... If people are still out and about dealing with our day-to-day operations, maintaining our world, the virus will always be around. There's no real preventing this besides staying clean and healthy. No shit, douchebag. But you know what? We're not talking about staying home so the virus goes away. We're talking about eliminating the cases that could possibly happen all at once that would overwhelm our healthcare system. What don't you get? Here's what people don't understand. Just because it isn't your loved one who's been affected by this, they think this is bullshit. They think it's not real. If they don't see it, they don't believe it. Well, I have nurses and doctors in this field, and they they tell me it's real. These things are really happening. Why can't you just fucking stay home? Why can't you do what you're being asked to do? 
Stop being so selfish and think about others. Fortunately for me, I'm taking this time to learn about people. And it's helping me cut my social friends in half probably. Because ignorant comments like that, I don't need you. I don't need to have 5,000 friends on a Facebook page. I could care less about that. It's quality over quantity. So I was talking to a friend of mine, and you're going to be blown away by this. He tells me his wife is a nurse. And she had to sign a contract the other day that states, if you get sick during this, for two weeks, you'll get 60% of your pay if you're out of work. If you're out of work any longer than that, you get zero. Are you kidding me? This is how we're going to treat our healthcare workers. I'm so tired of listening to who gives a fuck where Tom Brady's going. Who cares he's making 30 million? I know it might be distracting and comforting to hear some of that stuff and take you away from the reality of what's really happening. But this country has got it backwards. And we're discovering that now. I want to take my chances with the skilled nurse and doctor to save my life. Not Tom Brady. But Tom Brady gets $30 million a year. This person was told, if you get sick, we'll pay you 60% of your pay for two weeks. And then after that, Nothing. (laughs) I see images of these doctors and nurses sleeping in tents outside their homes or in their garages or sleeping in their cars. They don't even get to go home and see their loved ones like we do every night. How about everybody stop bitching and complaining about being quarantined and take the time To really enjoy your loved ones that are right there with you. I know we're losing some part of normalcy. But you know what? These are the times to really take in and value. Sitting on the couch. Relaxing. Watching TV. Playing some video games. Board games. Whatever it might be. Guess what? Our frontline personnel... They don't get that option. They're praying to come home at some point. Their loved ones are praying that they make it home safe. Let's just use some common sense and not be so ignorant with our comments on social media. Now, I want to throw some names out. Nurses and doctors. Alex Spinoza. Thank you, brother, for what you're doing. He does stem cell research, got approved by the FDA. I had some comments and conversations with him, and I'm hoping he can kick the shit out of this thing. Jennifer Lee, I saw her on social media. She just landed in New York City. And I just saw a recent post she made. And you might want to check it out. This shit's real. Tiffany Scoville, thank you for all you do. God bless you. Keep you safe. Shannon Elizabeth, 15-year nurse in Detroit. God bless you. Brian Duncan, neonatal RN. God bless you, my friend. Joanne Slater, case management RN in New York. God bless you. Stay safe. Doc John, psychologist in skilled nursing facilities. Stay safe, my friend. God bless you. Our teachers, yeah, our teachers, parents, how many of you 
have realized what it's like to be a teacher. Undervalued. That profession is way undervalued, way underpaid for what they do for our children, our future, on a daily basis. To all the teachers, I want to say a huge thank you. Let me mention a few by name. Aaron Crowley, Jessica Dashnaw Crisco, Aaron Pettit, Nicole Mendenhall, Marsha Kay, John Cheney, Tracy Hunter Vacek, Braca Campo. Again, we are all in this together. My next episode, we'll, we'll, get, we'll talk about the businesses again. But we got to keep these names coming. Anyone knows a nurse, a doctor, a teacher, retail workers, firefighters, EMTs, police officers, essential workers, please hit up my Facebook page on social media, Bill McDonald or The Bearded Beast Show. We got to get names on this list and we got to continue to say thank you. Stay positive, everyone. Love your loved ones. Hug them a little tighter tonight and give them an extra hug for all the nurses and doctors who may not be able to get home to their family and hug their loved ones. Stay safe, everyone. I love you, and we'll talk to you next week. I remember with you, but McDonald's the baddest that I would turn to. CEO with the shit that's a dumb motherfucker. You always win. There's no going under the top of the crown. Rest thing on his head. The beast is alive. He'll never be dead. If he drunk before, bring it back to life. Push harder for it. Let us survive. Show courage and strength. It's okay to be scared, but don't let it stop. You always stay prepared. Bill, show my school. They're just not beginning. Winners fucking win, losers. Talk about winning.